Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we will discuss the second problem of lead code weekly contest 297. It's a medium level problem. The problem name is minimum path cost in a grid. So the problem statement says that we are given a zero indexed m cross n integer grid, uh, integer matrix known as grid, which consists of distinct integers uh, from 0 to m into n minus 1. Now we can move in this matrix from any cell to any other cell in the next row. Uh, irrespective of the column it's just that we can move from i th row to i minus 1 th row uh, that is if you are in cell x comma y such that x is less than m minus 1 that is if it is not the last row then we can move to any of the cells in the next row that we can see x plus 1 comma 0 x plus 1 comma 1 10 n minus 1 uh, now note that it is not possible to move from the cells in the last row so yeah that is uh, that is pretty obvious and each possible move has a cost given by a zero index 2d array move cost which is of size m cross n m into n cross n where move cost of i comma j is the cost of moving from a cell with value i to a cell in column j of the next row uh, we'll understand we'll, we'll try to see it with the help of the diagram so no need to uh, no need to hurry i i totally understand that probably this statement is uh, sometimes confuses you I got confused on the first book so yeah we'll see what it what it means and the cost of moving from cells in the last row of grid can be ignored obviously because you can't move uh, outside the last row right uh, now the cost of a path in a grid is the sum of all the values of cells visited plus the sum of cost of all the moves made now we need to return the minimum cost of a path that starts from any cell in the first row and ends at, ends at any cell in the last row so now let's try to understand this with the help of a diagram so we are given a grid 5 comma 3 4 comma 0 2 comma 1 we can see this in the diagram it's 5 3 4 0 2 1 also it is given also move cost is given now it said what what does move cost said it said that uh, value present at i comma j is the cost of moving from a cell with value i to a cell in column j uh, of the next row like for example suppose we want to move from 5 to 4 now i will be 5 here because the value present here is 5 and we are moving to the 0th index of the next row so that means we need to check the cost will be uh, present at 5 comma 0 so if we move to 5 comma 0 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 this is 5 and this is 0 so the cost will be 14 because we are moving from this value to the jth column so the value is 5 so that is that is why we move to the fifth row and then uh, in the jth column now let's look into the second example suppose we want to move from 5 to 0 so now we, the cost will be value present at index 5 comma 1 why 1 because it is present at in the first column so we move at 5 1 so we see the value present here is 3 so that is why the arrow says 3 now let's look into other example like for example if you want to move from 0 to 2 so we will check the value present at 0 comma 1 because we are moving uh, sorry 0 comma 0 the value present here is 0 and we are moving to the 0th column so it, it should be 0 comma 0 is 9 so the this is the representation of the move cost now it says we need to return the, now what is the cost uh, if if you traverse a path like for example if we move from 5 to 0 so the cost will be the cost of this path that is that is 3 and also the, uh, the the cells that we are visiting so in this case 5 and 0 will also be included in the cost right so we will be taking path uh, uh, to adjacent rows from i a row to i plus 1 row and hence there will be some cost we need to return the minimum value out of that so here we can see the path with the minimum possible cost is path uh, 5 0 1 that means you move from 5 to 0 and 0 to 1 and the sum of values of the cells visited is 5 plus 0 plus 1 because obviously uh, these will be included plus the cost of the edges will be included now the cost of moving from 5 to 0 is 3 we can see here 3 and the cost of moving from 0 to 1 is 8 so this is 8 so 8 plus 3 11 and then we add 6 uh, the cost of the sales so it comes out to be 17 so 17, 17 is our answer in this case similarly this is a this is a big test case uh, so and we don't have a diagram but similarly we can solve this uh, let's look into the constraints so the constraint says that um, m cross n uh, can go up to 50 and obviously it will be greater than or equal to 2 because we just can't have one row like we can have it but uh, that will be like returning the minimum value out of the values present in a single row so that 
uh, and yeah so grid consists of distinct integers and move cost is m m into n and this is n and the cost is 100 so these are the constraints now this is a typical dynamic problem uh, programming problem uh, let's try to understand it with the help of a diagram and uh, it will be a cake for, for you uh, because this is a typical db problem let's see how to approach these type of problems so suppose you are given a grid suppose we have a grid like this let me make it like this okay awesome suppose this is a grid now let's consider we want to uh, compute the cost that suppose so this is zeroth row this is first row this is second row now we want to calculate the cost of coming from uh, zeroth row to the first row when we come to this particular cell because we can visit any cell right and we need to choose the minimum uh, cost of visiting a particular row now what will be the minimum cost the cost of visiting this cell this cell this cell this cell this cell minimum of this now if we want if i want to compute the cost of visiting this particular cell so what will be the cost of this so the cost of this will be suppose i want to come from here suppose i want to come from here so there will be some cost associated by with this i must be coming from somewhere so suppose the cost of visiting this cell is x suppose the cost of visiting this cell is x now what will be the cost of visiting this cell i can visit it from this so what will be the cost it will be the cost of visiting this cell plus the path of this right the path of moving from this cell to this cell and obviously the cost of this particular grid right this particular cell so this will be x plus path of suppose i say 0 comma 0 to 1 comma 0 1 to 0 like this right and obviously in every case we'll be adding the cost suppose i add c here so this will be the cost right similarly there will be some cost if i try to visit from here to here right so it will be the cost of visiting this cell plus the path cost from this cell to this cell right this will be the cost and again we'll be adding the value uh, present in this cell so that is common from for all so we can ignore it now wrong. similarly if i want to visit from this cell to this cell so again cost of visiting this cell plus the path cost of this one this path similarly if i want to visit from here to here so cost of visiting this and the path of this and for this right so that means for one particular cell i need to traverse all the columns of the previous row right so i can have a maximum of 50 50 columns right so if i do this for all the cells suppose i do this for all the cells like for this cell i check the minimum value i compute the values using all these similarly for this i compute the values of using all this and so on so in the so what will happen suppose if i visit the last row so when i visit the last row what will happen i'll calculate the value for this 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 and this using the same approach like for, to visit this i'll be computing the cost from here to here here to here here to here here to here and so on so and i'll be storing the minimum value here similarly the minimum value of coming to this path and all so the minimum of these values will be my answer which will tell me that what will be the cost if i if i try to visit from the 0th row to the n minus 1th row right so this is a typical dynamic problem programming problem because for every cell what we are doing we are using the results computed previously computed previously and then based on that uh, we are updating our current result right so this will be the approach that we will be will be using in this problem now the code for this one is pretty easy let's look into the code uh, the implementation is pretty straightforward i would say it's all about the concept that we we were using in this question so again it mentioned that we have m cross n grid but that is generally confusing for me so i take n cross n so computed the dimensions uh, initialized an array uh, 2d array of n cross m because we, we need to store the answer uh, typically you name it dp and all just for clarity i have named it answer here uh, for the first row the cost will be equal to the values present in that cell only because obviously this is the first row right so you will we'll be starting from here only and now <coughs> sorry this is the core logic so what we are doing for each and every cell we need to compute the minimum cost right so we traverse each and every row we traverse each and every column in in every row like we consider the first row and for each column in that row we need to compute the values now to compute the values we again need to visit all the columns in the previous row right 
so the uh, we have taken a variable uh, which has max value as of now and we'll update it based on the cost uh, of visiting the kth cell of the previous row so that is i minus 1 comma k if if we if we are using kth column from the previous row plus the cost of moving so the cost of moving is uh, is the value present in that cell so that is grade of i minus 1 comma k and we are moving to the current column the current column is j column so this is the cost so this is the minimum value that we'll have finally we add the current cell value to the min value and this will be our answer uh, and finally we compute the maximum value uh, from the last row and finally we return this in our answer right uh, the time complexity for this one will be uh, in the worst cases 50 cross 50 cross 50 uh, so basically it will be uh, i would say o, o big o of n into m into m uh, and if so yeah n into m into m so that will be the time complexity space complexity will be big o of n cross m obviously this can be reduced because at every step we are using just the previous row but this was a contest so to speed the things up i i just wrote it <laughs> n cross m otherwise we can take a 1d array as well and that would work so i i so hope you learn something new new from this video uh you can practice similar problems uh to get in to to, to get a better hold of uh, uh dp and all and uh, if do do support this video by giving up thumbs up and take care see you in the next video Bye bye